Hello everybody, Philip Miller here. Let's talk about my Java Linux and what changed in calendar week 50. So first, what everybody noticed in the beginning of the week, we changed our web presence. So our full homepage changed to a new design. It's not based on uh, WordPress anymore. We switched over to Hugo. Hugo is a static uh, engine you can create uh, your homepage with uh, Markdown and other nice tools. It's much more in structure, it's fast loading and you can use it for your mobile devices like the pads or the mobile phones. And of course you can have it here as a full screen. This is now at high definition. I have it here on a TV with 1080 to uh, 720p and you can see it's it's really nice so what we have here is uh, we have a new new section the new section is a more dynamically so if we post something in our forum you will find it automatically here in the news section so you have two options to read more what's about coming up in the news so the first option is uh, click on here and you see it uh, scaled for our news section and if you uh, close it and go for the forum, it will automatically open the forum into the section we had posted it originally. So it's the same thing. You can uh, comment here uh, what it's about. You can vote if uh, the update works for you or not. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really dynamic and hope this is uh, what uh, will help you guys to get the latest news of Manchar Linux itself. The next section we changed totally is the download section. So we have explained uh, what uh, are our flagship editions, how we can use them. So you can use it on a virtual machine, put it on a USB stick or install it on your hardware. And if you scroll down below, then you will see uh, we have here a selection. So everybody is uh, asking now, why do we have only the flagship editions here, which is uh, XFC edition, the KDE edition and the GNOME edition. And where are the rest? Where's everything else? So if you unmark the flagship editions, then you will see additionally uh, Cinnamon will pop up. Okay, so if you unmark beginner friendly as well, then all the editions will uh, pop up. So even our development editions. Then we have the E3, we have the open box edition, we have a web that edition, which is a really, really nice uh, edition, which is uh, created by Vitor. So it's like uh, you have in a web browser with UI, you can use for the user interface and scroll the web and your applications in one screen and you don't have to switch between those uh, settings. So I recommend to check it out. Then we have the ASUM edition, which has the ASUM window manager which is more for tiling. Similar goes for the open box or the i3 edition, which are not much as common in the workflow as more people see, but it's more for the geeks and the hackers out there. And if you're more like a traditional workflow, you can go for a cinnamon and others. And you can simply select it by what you want to have. So traditional workflow, everything which has a traditional workflow will be displayed here. So even you have the Mate edition to see and play with that. So you can give us a comment below if you like uh, how we present it by default. So by default, we have only selected uh, flagship editions and beginner friendly, which automatically only shows you GNOME, KDE and XFC edition. So let's go further in the new homepage. So we have here the packages section. So if you click on mirrors check, you will find uh, the standard mirrors checking list. So even so, you can filter it through. So if you're in Australia, only the Australian servers will be displayed if you mark that. Same goes for Costa Rica or if you're from the States, you have more options there. And of course, we have a lot of uh, options for Germany and other European countries because we are based in the Euro European Union. 
So obviously we are more located there as well with our mirrors and servers. If you want to search for a package, you can go by the branches. So for example, if you are on the stable branch, we'll go there and you can see all the packages which are in Manchester stable and what would have been the latest version out there upstream and which of those are outdated. So it's a nice selection. You can search here about all the changes made to packages. If you completely new to Manchero Linux, you can go here to the support section, so the first steps. We will walk you through what is there, how you can get from the ISO file over the USB stick to your installation of Manchero Linux itself. We have a lot of uh, information going there. And if you have problems, the most common problems are listed here as well. So you don't have to go to the wiki, which you can do as well, or in our forums. But the most common issues we have here are listed. So for example, how you start to install Mancharo is displayed as well. What else? If you have to get into Mancharo itself, we really, really recommend to read our user guide. So we have it in French and in English. And here's uh, the summary what is included. So we explain how to get to Mancharo, to install it, and what is the first steps after you installed Mancharo itself. About Mancharo, so if you don't know what is Mancharo exactly, you can go here and see uh, we are community driven, the core features and so on, how much it will cost. So you pay zero cents for it. It's free, it will always be free. You can use it as your main operating system and you don't have to worry about it and you get it always updated. So you're full in control, you can update when you want. Your data is yours, not ours. We don't track anything there. And you can change everything you need by your own. Of course, we will help you if you have asked questions. Just do that in our forums. To configure it, it's just a click away. So the main features of our tools are explained here. And uh, for whom is it? Yeah, we have it for scientists, for uh, gamers, teachers, students, developers, home users, artists. So you can see we have a lot of applications there. You can click on them here and get more details what the applications are about. And yeah, it's fresh, it's stable. So we explain how we get the packages from the Arch Linux and how it's the workflow to get the packages into the, our branches. This is explained here and yeah if you want to know more about it we have a lot of lists for example what is the best list you can get and see when is the package is updated is the packages list so you can click here on the thread as you can see here it's a lot of entries and if you scroll down for example here you can see we updated the uh, firefox developer edition we put on some cinnamon packages there so in this list you might find uh, the updates when they're coming in and simply see what's going on. So, of course, we have now extended our shop versions. So you can go here and uh, buy some merch. For example, if you have a little boy or girl, you can buy him a toddler or you can get for a base cap or some sweaters. So we always will uh, change our offers here in this shop so you can give us some ideas what you like to have what you want to have Manchero branded and so on also of course if you need a new laptop we have here a new uh, corporation with uh, the ubuntu shop in belgium so you can see here we have a lot of models there and you can simply customize them to your needs as well we have the iconic spitfire so this is the laptop we started so you can see here it starts 999 pounds and uh, we have here updated our specs so this is fresh this is new and so on if you don't want to buy hardware it's it's fine but you can also support us by donating so this is the new donating page we explain where the money goes to 
what we use to do with it and uh, get the project uh, working. And you have two options, you can either use PayPal or use the normal bank. So this is all about uh, what we changed for our homepage. And now let's talk about what changed package-wise. Welcome to the second release candidate of the upcoming point release of Alira. What you see here, we added a new theme called Matcha. Matcha comes in three flavors. We have the green looking Sia. If you like more orange, you can go for Alice. Or if you're more into blue, you go for Azul. For those, we have also added the matching uh, quantum themes for the Qt framework. So simply use the matching one and click on use the theme. And as you can see here, we have both changed in blue. Also for our other themes, we have a lot of more theme matching added here for the quantum theme series. As we updated our NVIDIA drivers, we have the latest D-Pin and Cinnamon updates. And of course, we have Wine in the 4.0 release series as a release candidate, the first one in that series as well. Plus Haskell, PHP and Python updates. In our package manager section, we have PAMAC updated to the second point release of the 7.3 series which has a lot of fixes, plus the lightest sooner. So if you like those kind of videos we're doing here for the updates and inform you what changed in Manchow as well, please leave a comment and see you next week.